बसमीम्स ग्रेट सिक्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज सेंस ऑर्गन ऑन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर डियर स्टूडेंट सेंस मीन्स टू फील सेंस मेक अस अवेयर ऑफ वट इज गोइंग अराउंड अस एंड इन ओवर ऑन बॉडी देर आर फाइव सेंसेस हाउ मैनी फाइव सेंसेस बट सेंस ऑर्गन टेल्स अस दैट वट इज हैपनिंग अराउंड अस वट इज हैपनिंग अराउंड अस देर आर फाइव सेंस ऑर्गन दैट इज इन फाइव सेंसेस साइट हेरिंग टच स्मेल एंड टेस्ट बट इन योर बुक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द ऑर्गन आई एंड द सेंस इज साइट सो I is the sense organ of sight. I is the sense organ of sight. To see something, to judge something, and to find the distance between two things. Parts of I. Students, there are different parts of eyes. Iris, pupil, eyeball, cornea, jelly lens, retina, optic nerve. Now, guys, please look at your book. Eye is the sense organ of sight. We have two eyes that are placed in the skull as a socket, just like a button in a circuit. It protects us from damage. Students, some muscles around the eyes are present that moves the eyes up and down and side to side. As we know that we have two eyes and some centimeter long, so its function is to judge. the distance or the position of anything that you want to pick or see each eye see a very different image so our brain makes us three dimensional effect and this is known as stereoscopic vision this is known as stereoscopic vision so the internal structure and the external structure of eye is here look at this its parts first iris this is in blue color colored part of the eye first is iris you can see that blue color part of the eye second pupil the hole present in between the iris is the pupil now cornea this cornea is very tough and clear a transparent sheet and physically very strong to protect the eye now muscles as we know that muscles move the eyeball this eyeball muscles eyeball present in the eye moves the eyeball and this muscles change the shape of the eye as the muscles work is the movement so it also change the shape of eye retina it contains nerve cells nerve cells take messages and send to the brain and also give messages around the body so this retina contains the nerve cells that send messages to the brain or the optic nerve here is present optic nerves that carry signals and send to the brain these are the bundle of fibers bundle of fibers optic nerves are the bundle of fibers that carry signals to the brain in the last watery liquid jelly help the eyeball to keep its shape it is present in here this one liquid jelly help the eyeball to place in its shape and this is jelly lens very important part the main part of the eye is lens Dear students now it's time to learn that how do eyes work First point is rays of light light from the object when the light from an object enter the eye through a hole car pupil light light enter the object through a hole car pupil then this light ray pass through the cornea pupil and lens second point third is the ray strike the retina this retina that makes the image these rays strike with the retina and set up a signal to some of its nerve cells and these signals send to the nerve cells and the picture image makes on the retina in the last the nerve cells send signals to the brain along the optic nerve this one cornea and this is light waves in this paragraph all the function that i have explained in this figure pupil hole 
Light is focused by the corneal lens to produce sharp image on the retina and lens is made up of jelly like substance as we know that. Second point, entering the eye is controlling by iris. The amount of light entering the eye is controlled by just iris. It means that how much light is entered into the eye, it's controlled by the iris. In the last, this retina have millions of nerve sensitive cells. The brain interrupts signals from the retina to produce image or picture that you want to see. So some questions answers, test yourself questions and the answers are on page number 25, question number 1, what does the ring of muscles around the lens do? It changes the shape of the lens. Second question, to describe the image produced on the retina. The image is small and upside down. Explain what happened to the iris. Answer, in the dark, the iris increases the size of the pupil, allowing more light to enter into the eye. But when the light switched on, the opposite happens. Students, the next topic is ear sense organ of hearing on page number 26. Ears are the sense organ of hearing. Blank number 24. Please mark it. We have two ears on each side of the head. As we know that we all have two ears that is present on each side of the head and this help us to where a sound is coming from. So blank number 24 is hearing and blank number 25 what is sound? Sounds are the vibrations in the air. What is sound? Sound are the vibrations in the air. This is blank number 25. Ear changes these vibrations into nerve impulses which travel to the brain. Ear changes these vibrations into nerves which travel to the brain. So, dear students, we divided the ear into three parts. How many? Three parts. First, outer ear, second, middle ear, third, inner ear, outer, middle, inner. And different parts of outer ear is ear flap, this one, ear flap, ear canal, this, ear canal, and last one, ear drum, ear drum. So from ear flap to ear drum, it is the outer ear, the part of ear that is present outside, outer ear. So, middle ear contains three small bones. Your middle ear contains only three small bones that is present in front of the eardrum, hammer, anvil, and stirrup. These are the three small bones that pick up vibrations that comes from the eardrum. In the last, the inner ear contains cochlea and semicircular canals, also auditory nerves semicircular canals, nerve to the brain, cochlea, eustachian tubes, this is the inner ear. Students try to make this diagram on your notebooks. Now how do ear works, means the function of ear, how can they perform their function. The ear flap, this ear flap collects vibrations in the air and sent to the short canal that is ear drum. This ear flap collects vibrations from the surrounding and sent to the eardrum or ear canal. The eardrum vibrates in time. This eardrum vibrates just like this in time and these vibrations in the air passes into the three bones that is hammer, anvil and stirrup. This eardrum converts the vibration or send the vibrations to the three bones that is hammer, anvil and stirrup. Okay. These are the three small bones amplify the vibrations and increasing the force more than 20 times. About 20 times increases the force of vibrations by these three small bones. Now these vibrations are detected by the cochlea nerves of the brain. And when the cochlea detect these vibrations through the small bones, then signals are passed from the nerve cells to the brain. When cochlea detect these vibrations, then signals are passed from the nerves to the brain and the brain interrupts these signals as a sound that you can hear. Now in the last, these semicircular canals are the organs of balance that take balance in the, that make balance in the ear. These canals have liquid 
so when you move this liquid also move this moving liquid is attracted by the nerve cells which send messages to the brain okay this liquid sends messages to the nerve cells and then to the brain when you go off balance your brain tells your muscles to keep you upright test yourself questions about this topic and the answers are but before here is blank number 26 the dash collects vibration in the air and sends them down ear flap blank number 27 the semicircular canals are organs of dash balance question on page number 26 why do we have two ears we have two ears which help us to tell where a sound is coming from second question what do the ear flap do ear flap collect vibrations in the ear third question how vibrations in the eardrum are interpreted as a sound vibrations are detected by the nerve cells signals pass from these nerve cells and work as a sound dear students please cut this fourth question of this test yourself thank you